Wow. Yeah. That's what yeah, it sends out a thing. So I should I you'll hear it right here. And just like he's going live yeah. and whatever. So they should all get a notice right now that they're what they're watching. You should hear it. Should swing across now. Ten seconds in. Any second you are now live. I would hope. Fuck me. Oh god. There. So there, people just got notification oh. now. Hi. Sorry about that. I don't know. Oh, great. Shut up, Pete. Go sit on a plunger. I'm back. Hi, Jojo. I'm not sure what happened, but uh, did I flush? Never. No, that's just rude. What's up, Ryan? What's up, Maurice? Where's Janet, everybody? Where's the... We had 300 people on. Now we're at 63. Not that it matters, but... Let's get some more going. Come on. Oh, it's going fast now. Okay. Hi, in Florida. Scott on freeze. <laughs> Pete, you're, oh, you're a stitch. Oh, my goodness. I did miss you, Brad. Like, I miss syphilis. <laughs> sort of the same. I'm still buffering. I can't. I'm not but It's not me buffering. It's your computer. That's what I'm saying. It could be the... No, it's not. It's not. Hi, Geraldine. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mrs. Kirk Cobain. I'm in your old apartment. It's a weird feed. It's a weird. There's lots of Kurt books here. Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. I only want to see you laughing with the Kurt Cobain. Thank you, Allegria. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Do you have a question for me? I know. It's the chat. Can somebody go back to the old chat that's still going and tell people to come here? I don't know why it's doing this. Uh, Pearl Jam? I, I didn't do any videos on Pearl Jam this time. We are the middle the concrete. Yeah. I can sing like Pearl Jam really well. <clears throat> Did I go by Cobain's drug den? Ryan, I hate that term, to be honest. Uh, when people talk about Kurt and calling it a drug den, it's a it's a drug resort. <laughs> right? It's a the the you talk about the motel or the Napoleon. What the hell is the motel called, guys? That I went Monte to? Carlo. Monte Carlo. Yeah, I drove by it the other day, but I didn't film there because I filmed it before. But he went there to get away, too. Yes, he did go to do drugs, but it's I don't like the term drug den when it comes to Kurt. I'm at Kurt Cobain's house. I'm not buffering on your end. Thank you for watching, Jack. I've not read all reviews of the Cecil, no. Can I go to my... I was in Miami in February and March, Anthony. I don't know when I'll be back. Scott, what is this channel about? Hmm. Life. Mine and yours. But yours and mine. And everybody that falls between the cracks. Right? You and me. We're going this way. And what else? Thank you, Jojo. Appreciate it. How many, how many wings do you have? Well, for an adult male, probably more than I should... But I'd say eight. It's buffering again. It's probably the Wi-Fi. Has the Wi-Fi been okay for you? Spotty. Oh, it's spotty. We got spotty Wi-Fi. Spotty Wi. <laughs> What's going on? I'm spotty Wi. Why? Why? Why, buddy? Why? <laughs> this is. Thank you, Ryan. This this channel is about whatever Scott enjoys. Pretty much. There's not. There's only maybe been two videos I've ever done that I didn't really have much of an interest in. Uh, I would say, well, see, I didn't have an interest in Bob Ross before I before I watched his show the night before I went to his grave. I didn't know anything about him, and then I was like, because people suggested, and then I went and nobody watched the video anyways. So it's the last time I take any of your suggestions. <laughs> Pete, I will take a look at your rash next time I'm in your state. I know where you live. I know the street. 
Friday 13th content, uh, I've done nine videos. I might redo the first movie one day, but not in the future, Friday 13th. Sorry, Mr. Connect. I've done everything I can with Friday 13th. What's up in Whitehall, Arkansas? It's my skip it diet. Skip it. Uh, Chester, Chester Bennington. I went to, I did one big video about Chester. That's it. Um, I did maybe something about his childhood. I'm thinking sometime. Whitney Houston, I've done a lot. I've been to her church. I've been to her grave twice. I've been to where she passed away. Summer rental. Kevin, you can't give away stuff I've done. <laughs> Have you ever done any? I've done videos in Seattle. Is that Verna? No, that's not Verna. Have I done any videos? Hi, VNA. There you are. I'm in. Kurt this is the Olympia apartment. Correct. Home of Kurt Cobain. We just had dinner, so no, I'm not grumpy. We had an early dinner. My friend and I, Johnny Nirvana. Will I be going to China or Australia? Anthony, I just told you. I have. I'm not. <laughs> you just asked about some place. Oh, you asked about Miami. I I can barely afford to get back home to Toronto. How am I gonna? How am I gonna get to China? Can you drive there? It's a tough drive. With the right view. It's a, yeah, it's gonna be a long drive. So who's at the house with me? Well, not you, Pete. Who's at the house with me? Johnny Nirvana. He's, he does all he I've hired him as my researcher so he does all my research for me now I'm too uh busy to do any research hey doink the clown I need his gravesite address stat on it. <laughs> and after that I need Snoop Dogg's first uh, Long Beach apartment that he lived in after he moved out of his mom's place you know I'm working on doink right now get from doink to dog as soon as he can I need doink and dog so I got, I got, this is my new researcher. Hello in Guatemala, Diego. Guatemala. <laughs> Doink the Clown. I need his gravesite. This guy always donates to me. He wants me to go to Doink the Clown's gravesite. Okay, so we'll find out where Doink the Clown is. I would love to go to China, guys, but it's a little expensive. Old School Pizza. Is there a place here called Old School Pizza? Old School Pizza is delicious and still around, yes. It's still around. Yep. I will check it out, maybe. What's up, Cajun Justice? Cajun Justice. Woo-wee. Have I met Kurt's sister? No. Uh, I did a meet and greet in Toronto. It went well. About eight people showed up. So no more meet and greets. Findagrave.com says, Joint the Clown's burial location is unknown. Don't, Mike, or is Mike, Doink the Clown, burial location unknown. I have a feeling he's probably buried near a circus or in a car with a lot of other clowns. <laughs> he's buried in one grave with eight clowns. <laughs> That's how they bury clowns. Like a clown car, right? <laughs> Just toss them in. Eminem, I've done that. Doink the clown story, Mike. Yeah. Uh, uh, he died in Texas, but the burial details unknown. Yeah. He died in Texas. Uh, burial details unknown. Dead. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> You think Kurt Cobain could whoop my ass? I, yeah. Shocker! Look, look at, look at. Yeah, I, I'm not a. Uh, well, no, I've said this before. We grew up fighting in Canada, like fight fighting on the streets, like for fun. But you know, whatever. but when we also when in Canada when we fought, we were on skates. With blades on them. Do you understand? That's difficult. We're tougher than anyone else, Canadians. Plus, we we have there's a lot of cold, so you know we're very tough. I de shut up, Adam. I've never worn Crocs in my life. Not that not that there's anything wrong with that. Eh, a little bit. How far am I from rad filming locations? Pizzazz. Well, hello, Clarice. Well, okay. Um, hello, Clarice. Don't you like? Uh, fuck, I can't say it inside. I get pizzazz there. Said it like that. I'm in uh, Olympia, Washington. Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. 
in his apartment, man. This is, I'm doing a full video on it, so you're going to see coming up. I, I do wear Uggs. Thank you. Kenny Rogers Grave, JD, it's on my channel. I, I went to, yeah, there's a lot of notable figures. Uh, what's the name of that cemetery he's in? Green, they're always Greenwood or something. It's uh, the main cemetery in Atlanta there, but I've been to his grave. Reading your comment? What's your comment? You're tripping. Oakland Cemetery is the answer. Oh, <laughs> this, this is why he earns the, the big bucks. Look, I did Oakland Cemetery. It's five ninety nine. It's like having Google, but it's a real person. You got to feed them too. <laughs> but you hear that Oakland Cemetery, just like that. Thank you, Anthony. <laughs> Show me your feet. Oh, come on. No, we're not sleeping in the same bed. We're not staying in the same place. <laughs> well, TBD, TBD, to be determined. We'll see. See, butt to butt. Uh, video Patrick Swayze. I've done the dirty dancey ones. Hey, what's in Vancouver, man? I'm going to be in Vancouver Wednesday night. Uh, tomorrow night. Holy shit, that's tomorrow night. I'll be in Vancouver tomorrow night, probably after 11 o'clock. I've been to Richie Valens' uh, place, yeah. Bruce Lee's grave, I know. I know they did it differently. Uh, Lane Staley doesn't have a grave. Who wins in a fight, Kurt Cobain or Eminem? I, I, I think I would have to just, I don't know. I mean, that's a, Eminem. He's pretty built. I would like to go to something like that, Sarah, but unfortunately I don't have time. Tomorrow's my last day here, and then I got to film a, another video in Seattle and then get the hell to Canada. Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate that. I like being here. When is it getting dark here in Washington? It doesn't. It's like Alaska. There's 45 minutes of nighttime. Otherwise, it's all daylight. Uh, the suicide bridge in Pasadena? No, I've never done anything on it. I've been on the bridge many, many times. Um, there's no throw. Uh, you have to give your son's name again for me to shove them out. I missed it. It's gone. Sorry, man. Um, the Suicide Bridge, it's so, it's so sad, but it's also very hard to type. Hey, Midwest Flesh, what's up, my buddy? I'm going to see you, hopefully, end of September. Tristan and Naya, what's up? How you doing? Skip it. Thank you about the Chris Benoit video. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate it. I've done The Exorcist. No, not St. Louis location. I'll come, yes, Mike. I've got a lot of wrestling, uh, 80s wrestling stars graves. Steve Kern, the wrestler, was also Doink the Clown. Can we confirm that Steve Kern was Doink the Clown? Can I get a real name of Doink the Clown? Thank you. Got someone on it. My assistant's on it. Matthew Wade Osborne. Doink the Clown was known as Matthew Wade Osborne. You're wrong. Professional wrestler. Yep. Son of tough Tony Bourne. Ooh, tough Tony Bourne. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Uh, it is a minimum stay is a month here, but uh, like I said, I'm friends with the owners, and we hooked it up for me to be here for a special day. I'm at Paris Street House. It was Matt Osborne. What's up, Solo Romero? I'm in, I am I, once again, Mr. For which house of at the Pear Street where he lived from 87 to 92, did we say? 91. 87 to 91. Where did he move in 91 then? Did he move to. They were living in hotels for a long time. I think he, I think he was in hotels. Yeah. Like he, he came back here from a, a tour of Europe and all of his stuff was. Was that. Did, did Tracy throw his stuff out or did Tracy. Did, Tracy was already moved out. Oh, so the landlord threw his stuff out. The landlord threw his stuff out. And then he moved to the back. They no, still... he threw it out of the back. Right. Okay, so Chase moved out of here, then Dave moved, then they decided to split that back room, the back one. Right. And then when, because Nirvana made it big, then he lived in the, I know he lived in the Four Seasons in Seattle. Yep. And somewhere else. But then he bought the house in Carnation, and he bought another house in Seattle. Yes. But that's not till 93. So, I don't know, that's a bright light. So I'm not sure where... Uh, he was living in hotels. Now I'm in shadows again. Do we need to turn that desk around? Turn the desk around. <laughs> turn it upside down. 
No, I, don't, I think no, it's okay. I think, oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's nice. My egghead blocks the the light. Oh, that's very nice. There we go. Hi, everybody. There you I've go. done Rick James. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, lots of Kurt Cobain books here. There's so many. Entertain us. The rise of Nirvana. So we filmed. So now that we're back here, guys, as people watch again, my next video on Thursday. If you are a '90s music fan and you're a Nirvana fan and Kurt fan and Melvin's fan, don't. Well, I don't want to give it away. Oh, I already did. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> that out. might that might give it. Just speak when spoken to. Answer the questions and shut up. It, it, it's hard to get good help. <laughs> You buy some soft pretzels for someone, you think they're going to do their job, and they don't. <laughs> Thank you, Solo Romero. <laughs> Good Lord. So, no, uh, REM videos I have coming, I hope, but bad assistance. <laughs> so, no, oh, they did hear you say the Melvins. All I'm saying is if you're a fan of the 90s, the grunge scene, what we filmed today, this is good to be was awesome, right? Yo, where are you? My, just mind numbing. My 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 numbing and blowing. Blowing numbing. <laughs> yeah. my, my, it was it was mind something. It was crazy. Yes, between Mark and 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 Johnny Nirvana here, you get what you pay for when it comes to assistance. <laughs> you ever see that video I did? I had an eighty year old assistant named Mark. <laughs> it was a joke. Uh, Robin Williams doesn't have a grave. His ashes were spread in San Francisco by the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm not telling you what the video is. You have to wait and see. Steve Kerr, the wrestler, was Doink the Clown. Look it up, and I expect an apology. Whoa. <laughs> if this is wrong, heads are going to roll. Oh, God. Damn it, dude. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. Uh, yes, Nicole, I have been to one of the Dukes of Hazzard cast members that passed away. I have not put that up yet, but I will put it up soon, Nicole. I can't tell you which one it okay, was. All right, I have an answer. Wait, here we go. Matt Osborne was the original doink, left WWF December 93. Steve Kern wrestled as the illusion doink at WrestleMania. Guys, did you hear that? So, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Matt the, Osborne, Matt Osborne was, the original doink. was the original doink. Left. WWF in 93. Left WWF in 93. And then Steve Kern wrestled as the quote unquote illusion <laughs> doink at WrestleMania. What the fuck is the illusion doink? So and Steve, he, he, came, he came out, he was the you know pretender. Yeah, so Steve Kern was the second doink faking the doink. doink. <laughs> Wasn't the real doink. He was pretend doink. We're really going down the doink rabbit hole. That's what we, we we really are. It's actually fascinating. I I I have I have no memory of wrestling after like ninety one. Like I, I I that's that's a lot of doinks. Yeah. Died at home in Plano, Texas. Somebody else died in Plano, Texas. I was in Plano, Texas. Linda, who's in? Is that where Peter Mayhew is? Chewbacca. I think somebody needs to apologize to me because my assistant for once got it right. There were actually over <coughs> 10 different wrestlers that played Doink over Come there. on. 10. You're throwing out trash. No, no. Steve <laughs> Kern. 10 okay. Doinks, guys. Dusty Wolf, 96. Uh, Mark Starr in 94. <laughs> Dusty Wolf. <laughs> yes, Dusty Wolf. Guys, and look, somebody said, no apology necessary. I don't think... Doink the Clown. Jeff Jarrett in 94. I've heard of him, I think. Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho played Doink. Nick Dinsmore, a.k.a. Eugene, was Minor Doink in 03. I've heard of Minor Doink. Yeah, I, minor yeah. Doink. Ray Apollo. <laughs> that was my nickname in high school. <laughs> Ray, Ray Apollo was Major Doink. Major Doink. Major Doink. Uh, there were actually, in 1993, the Four Doinks. Guys, listen to this. The four okay. doink. I'm not making it exactly the, the rest of my life to make a doink video. Correct. And then there was another <laughs> minor doink, a starling. I think we saw a minor doink walking outside of Spar Spar Cavaniers. I think he was one of the guys from Mini Kids. <laughs> 
And then Steve Lombardi was a uh, major doink, uh, 93 to 96. So there's been a lot. Uh, the, major doink. The Brooklyn brawler himself was a major doink. Well, somebody here said about an evil doink. Ooh, I better get on that. Uh, another video with Adam and Grimm. Probably uh, not for a while. Not uh, Grimm is back in California. Adam's, I think Adam's on his way back to Florida. I spoke to Adam last week. Uh, you'll see Adam again soon, but because you know, uh, Grim, maybe next time in LA, whenever I get am I single? Yes, I got a cur. Uh, that's a lot of do that's a lot of doinks. I have a, I have allergies, Mister Slash X, to everything. I'm like the kid that should be in a bubble when he goes outside. This can be every time. Take a shot every time someone says doink. Ah, uh, you're right, Marie. <laughs> doink, doink. <laughs> Yeah, Matt Osborne is evil doink. See, how the hell would the casual person know that, Johnny Vegas? Lot, yes, the major wrestlers were doinks. That's what I've heard. <laughs> oh, he did. Adam did an Epcot video? Cool. I know. I like having an assistant on the live chats, too. And one that I don't have to pay. When <laughs> they just sent an answer and Biz Marquee video, uh, I want to. I would love to go to London to make a Biz Marquee video, but uh, I've got something planned about Biz Marquee. Uh, Celine Dion, yes, I did a whole. Uh, well, I did, <clears throat> I did Celine Dion, yeah, two, three, two years ago. I did Celine Dion's childhood home, which is crazy. Uh, and then I did something else about her, and then I did her husband's grave. Oh, yeah, the Pantera reunion. You know, True Brit, there, there's people that are getting really upset because the Abbott brothers aren't included, obviously, because they're dead. I mean, they, they're not in it. But my thoughts on it is if somebody wants to go on tour as Pantera and there's two original members, they're going to get a guitarist and a drummer, I think, probably, right? Right? I don't know. Let them tour. Don't go see it if you're not a fan. Like I, That's the way I look at it. Like, it, you, you can't. It's rare when a band like the the guitarist becomes uh, the most famous member of the band, like Pantera. But you know, if somebody if somebody wants to call themselves Pantera, everybody going in nowadays has the internet, so they know that's not really Pantera without the Abbott Brothers. But yeah, who cares? I've not met Dylan Carlson. He's very elusive. What's Dorian had a wrestling move? Johnny, why don't I know Doink's wrestling move? This is embarrassing. I should know this. You should have told me this. I'm sorry, everyone. There are no original members of Pantera Live. Wow. You can introduce me to Afro Man? I, 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 I love Afro Man's album, his main one, with Because I Got High and Palmdale and all that stuff. Love that album. Four Brothers, I've seen Four Brothers was filmed in Toronto, Detroit, and Hamilton, Ontario. Phil is the singer. Phil and Selma, right? Yeah, he's going to be back. What's that? Uh oh, got a message. Who's that? Doink's finishing move was the stump puller. The stunt? Stump. The stump puller, another one of my nicknames in high school. Joints. I didn't deserve that. Joint's <laughs> finishing move was the stump puller, a what? submission hold which involves seating the opponent on the mat, sitting on their shoulders, and pulling one of the opponent's legs toward their head. So Doink's signature move was the stump puller, guys. The stump puller. And um, I'm going to have to say that from 13 to 17, I pulled uh, my stump a lot. I mean, that's all I did. He also used to use uh, the old Jerry Lawler, the Memphis Maulers move, the whoopee cushion. And he, and he also <laughs> used Jerry Lawler's move, the whoopee cushion. <laughs> Stumpula. That's like rump shaker. Stumpula. Stumpula. <laughs> What's that? How does rump shaker go? Uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> How does rump shaker go? Look, rump. Oh, fuck. Rump shaker by Rex and Effects. Why can't I think of it? Thank you, Kyle. Oh, shrunken doink. Thank you. 
I really am at Kurt Cobain's house. Uh, I don't know how else to. You're going to see it in the video coming up. But this is, I guess, it's going to last. The, I think I'm powered up a little bit more. No, it's still on red. All I, oh, there it is. All I want to do is throw my zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. Let's shake your rump. That's right. Brandy Noel uh, Alex is on my to do list. Uh, but when I'll get out there again, I don't know. Zoom, zoom, zoom. All I want to do is throw my zoom, 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 and your boom, boom. Just shake your rump. Oh, my goodness. Let me pull your stuff. You feeling manly? Your shaker's coming in handy. What's <laughs> true? <laughs> and the <to> God. <laughs> No dickity, no doubt. How do I keep the weight off while on the road? Well, I've been, I, I don't. I'm getting, I'm, I'm putting on a few. Because I eat a, I, I don't eat a lot, but it's, it's hard to eat good stuff. The original doink shaker. <laughs> I'm the original doink shaker. Lucas, you just wrote your own name. You're getting somewhere. Hi, Alberta. Thank you. Alberta, are you coming to Toronto? Soon is that? What? Thank you, Alberta. When are you coming to Toronto? L, you're gonna have to wait and see. You have to wait and watch my video for to see what the photo is behind me. My fave Dave Matthews band song. First of all, not a big fan of Dave Matthews band, but I do like "Crash Into Me" and "Don't Drink the Water." Don't drink the water. I like that song. But I think he was talking about his toilet on his tour bus. <laughs> Dave Matthews band, yeah. A little too uh, frat rock for me. A little too, uh, what do you call it? Like um, groove jammy music. Like, you know, it, it, there's a couple of songs by Oasis and a couple of songs by Corner Shop and one by George Michael that go over 10 minutes. If a song is not over by five minutes, I'm leaving the room. Get out, get out, get out of here with your 10, 20 minutes. You're in Toronto, Alberta? What the fuck? When are you, when are you leaving? You're in Toronto. You're like the biggest donator, one of the biggest donators to my channel, and you're in my hometown. I would like to meet up with you. I have sexy lips. Thank you. I, I they're actually um they're fake. I do them myself every morning. I prick them, and then uh, I inject air into them, and I walk around. Thank you, Brandon. This is my second time at this house. Yeah. You're leaving Thursday, Alberta. Why would you do that? I'm I'm getting I'm arriving Thursday. What time do you well you're not gonna see each other at the airport because I don't get in until 9 30. Yeah, no, Dave Matthews seems like a nice guy himself. I'm not going to Aberdeen, or am I? You gotta wait and see what's coming. Yacht Rock. No, Yacht Rock is more like um uh Sealy Dan. Uh who else? Yacht Rock, Christopher Cross. You know, that's Yacht Rock. Dave Matthews band is more jam rock, right? Sorry, Albert. I'm sorry I missed you. Lucas Emmons. Oh, what? it, Guys, it's my little cousin. You're my cousin. You don't have to say who you are. Like, you know, Kelly. <laughs> um, what the hell did you say? <laughs> Kathy's grandson. Lucas, how are you, buddy? Everybody say hello to Lucas. Hi, right, Lucas. The assistant said it. I got to pay him every time he talks, though. Great. There's another five bucks. <laughs> I'm good, Lucas. Everybody say hi to my little boy, Lucas. He's my cousin. He's my cousin's son. So second cousin. <laughs> there we go. How old are you now, Lucas? I just saw you in April, but I can't remember. Oh, look at all the people say hi to Lucas. Wow, 13. Very good, Lucas. You enjoying your summer, buddy? 14 in September. Very nice. And then, are you showing high? Lucas, are you starting high school? Did we talk about that when I was with you in April? Are you starting high school, Lucas? Do you start high school in September, or are you still another year of junior high? You're doing grade nine, so I don't have to, but I'm doing grade nine, so I don't have to do it for four months. That's confusing, but okay. 
Oh, you star. I see. Good to see you, Lucas. Language wise. Say hi to Fabi. Say hi to Kelly and Brad. That's your mom and dad. You know that. I was just looking at pictures of uh, your grandmother yesterday, Lucas. Uh, the the pictures of the was it a leopard she put up? Very cool. And all her pictures when she was out on the East Coast. Lucas said it fails. Nothing. The kid's smarter than you, Brad. Brad. Brad, Brad, just having the name Brad. You're you, Brad. You're walking tall. Thank you. By the ever here, the Johnny Cash on Tiger White Hood. Oh wow! No Jig Monster. Thank you. By the way, I I haven't, I haven't heard that, about that story. Tiger Whitehead. Ah, thank you, Donna. <laughs> I can tell you that Tracy Miranda is, Miranda is not around right now. Yeah, of course, Lucas. You're the one of the smartest kids I've, I've met. <laughs> yeah, you got Brad. You got told off by a 13 year old. Lucas, Brad's cool, but he's a bit of a he's a bit of a doink. Skip it. Don't be like Brad. <laughs> I said, well, Mark in the dark. Uh, we've been out filming all day in the hot sun, and. Well, we got started later in the day, but no, we were sitting. No, we were. So, I don't drink. My I'm not, I don't allow my assistant to drink. I don't allow him to indulge. I don't allow him to take allergy pills. I just need him focused at all times. I mean, if he wants to earn the four dollars an hour, he's got to be on. <laughs> he's got to be on the ball. So, uh, none of neither of us drink, but I think the heat has gotten to us. I've been to Graceland, lots of videos. Oh, Chris, thank you. My Scott Pilgrim video. I love that video, Chris. I actually love that video because I found so many Scott Pilgrim locations. And they all, I did that during the pandemic. And there was so, getting around Toronto was great. Adam, do not mention the Montreal Canadiens on my channel, please. On my live chat, ever. God, I know, Lucas, my sister was telling me today that it's really hot. What's up, my boy? Ernie's on. What's up, Ernie? Ernie, I can't wait to come to Boston to hang out with you, man. It is going to be pure chaos, like your Instagram. Thank you, Alberta. Yes. If you're coming, oh, you're so sweet, Alberta. Thank you. Yes. When you come back, Alberta, and Alberta, I'm not going to be like one of those other guys that you follow that go, um, oh, thank you for the penguin, AA matchers, AA matchers, whatever the hell they call you. I know your full name, Alberta. So we will do an interview when I'm back, and then when you come back to Toronto, we will get together. But I'm really happy with the stand by me. And stand by me. Thank you. Thank you, Corpse. Oh, Jacksonville, Florida. Thank you, Sarah. My mom and I love your vlogs. Well, I love your mom, Sarah. And it's time that you realize I kind of did it with your mom. That's why she likes me. Is that a personal call? Are you working? Working. I'm not paying. Are you working for me? I'm not paying you to make text to family. Oh, how's my kids doing? Nobody cares. You know, I'm texting Dave Grohl. Okay, he's texting Dave Grohl. That's fine. He probably is. I'm kidding, Sarah. Thank you. I love her. Tell her. Tell your mom I love her. And I love Jacksonville. Oh, I love Jacksonville. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Any Beatles? Uh, we could play a few Beatles songs next time. Winky, winky. Does Mr. Ed have a grave? Uh, it does, but they're in multiple dog stomachs, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> womp, womp. <laughs> well, it's a dead horse joke. What? If I make it again, then I'm beating a dead horse. <laughs> oh, gosh. That is just too much fun. Did Lucas say bye? Bye, Lucas, buddy. I'll see you when I'm back in Toronto. I'll come say hi to you and the, everybody. Okay, Lucas? Where did Lucas say yeah, it's late there, Lucas. What time is it in Toronto? Oh, you're 13 now. You're allowed to stay up. Hey, I don't know. They're saying that in Tahlequah, Oklahoma, there is a grave for Mr. Ed. There is a grave for Mr. Ed in Tahlequah, Oklahoma. <laughs> but most locals believe the horse in the grave is actually Bamboo Harvester. 
a Palomino horse. <laughs> the horse is called Bamboo Harvester? Bamboo Harvester. That's a cumbersome name. Mr. Ed's a lot easier off the tongue. You are. A, thank you, Alberta. Okay, I'm not going to show you Chris' toilet, but it will be in the video. Um, good night, Lucas. I'll see you, buddy. Okay, say hi to mom and dad and your brother. Wait, I think I have a picture of you, Lucas. Let me see. Can I see? Lucas, did you go sleep? I don't know if I took a picture with you at my mom's thing. We were taking selfies. Uh, anyway, so I don't want to put you on blast anyways. Jordan the Lion and Scott Michaels visited Mr. Ed's grave. That's cool. Bamboo Harvester, the famous Mr. Red. A oh, horse is, of course, of course, of course. Someone else is, is saying that the horse buried there was a horse named Pumpkin. Apparently. So there's some controversy about what horse is there, but the grave marker says Mr. Red. But it could be Pumpkin Harvester or Spoon Fed Molotov. <laughs> what were their names? Spoon Fed Molotov? What the <laughs> I don't That's know. my new stage name. Bamboo, Har Bamboo Stingray? What was his name? <laughs> Spoon Fed Molotov. <laughs> this is Kurt Cobain's house. <laughs> Guys, wait, what was the two horses name? Pump pumpkin? <laughs> I'm writing down spoon fed Molotov. <laughs> That's my new fucking stage. There's two horses buried at Mr. A's grave. Mr. Mr. A's, Mr. A's grave, but we don't know what horse it is. Yes. My LA videos. That, yeah. Uh, oh, you're gonna be in town for the Taylor Hawkins? That's awesome. I'm not showing you Kurt Cobain's toilet. And I can tell you that Kurt Cobain's toilet and shower, which is right here, are original to the building. Michael Alley vlog Marine. I got to tell you, I think I've told this story before. Yes, I know who Mr. Ed was, Jana. He was my high school gym teacher. And, we, and, and he was hung like a horse. So that's why. Oh, that's a whole different thing. Yeah. Actually, I should probably report that. Anyway, that's a long story. No, it was Bamboo Harvester. <laughs> Bam bamboo Harvester. Or Pumpkin. No. Um, I, I, got a, I got a really dirty joke to make about Bamboo Harvester, but I'm not going to say it. <laughs> if you had a gym teacher named Bamboo Harvester, <laughs> I, I, I... Oh, my God, I thought I was freaked out by gym class. Oh, Bamboo Harvester. Go Habs. Go fuck yourself. I mean, sorry, Smudge, but seriously, no, no talking about the Habs. Sharon Tate was on Mr. Ed. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, you'll see the no, Brad, you're not seeing the toilet. You're gonna see the toilet and um all the stuff. <laughs> Merlin Santana. Who, who the hell's Merlin Santana? Merlin Santana. Want to visit his grave? Is he dead? Do I have to kill him to go visit his grave? Because if you donate, I'll kill him. How can we get can we get his Merlin Santana? I am on it. He's, he's he, before I even ask, he's on it. I can't play Nirvana Rudy because Huxtable's boyfriend Stanley on the Cosby Show. Real Stanley on the Cosby Show. Yeah, Rudy had Rudy a boyfriend. Huxtable's boyfriend Stanley on the Cosby Show. He was Marcus Dixon on Getting By, Marcus Henry in Under One Roof. I never heard of him before. And he was uh, Romeo Santana on the Steve Harvey Show. Oh, okay, I watched the Steve Harvey Show. But I don't remember him, but I'll take a look. But uh, the Cosby Show was a long time ago. I don't remember a lot of the Cosby Show. But the reason I may not remember the Cosby Show is because I used to watch it with Bill Cosby, and he would hand me a drink first. So I didn't remember a lot after that. <laughs> after that, I used to watch it while you put the dirt in the drink and the butter in the drink and drink it up. up. <laughs> Another joke that probably shouldn't be made, but, you know. <laughs> what do I care at this point? <laughs> you put the pill in the drink, you see? <laughs> this is, no, this oh. is. <laughs> oh, Michael Alley, sorry. You got to put in pops. <laughs> Dude, Merlin Santana was shot in a parked car. Merlin Santana was shot in a parked car. <gasps> you know what? Now, listen to this story. So, the other day, I'll get to Michael Alley in a second. I was listening to some like um, early 2000, no, it was around mid 2000s rap song. I can't remember what it was. And then I started thinking about Silent Toad. Remember, watch me whip, watch me nay nay, watch me whip, whip, watch me nay nay. I used to love that song. So I was like, what happened to Silent Toad? 
what happened to Sato? He was like 17 when the song came out. So I immediately, when I got home, I was like, oh, yeah, Silento. I looked up Silento. You guys all remember the song. They do the stanky leg, do the stanky leg. Anyway, Silento is in jail for killing his cousin. This kid sold like 5 million copies of that Watch Me Way Up song, and he shot to death his cousin. And he still has not gone to trial, but he's being held in jail. How crazy is that? Watch me whip. Watch me nay nay. Okay, all right. Merlin began his career age of three as an advertising model for a fast food chain. I'm going to say McDonald's. It doesn't say. Merlin Santana was a model. I did Birdie Max. Okay, Michael Alley. Sorry, Kathy. Uh, Michael Alley, when he got out of prison after serving, uh, I forget how many years it was now. I was I went to all those clubs back in the 90s when I first went to New York City, like the Limelight. Uh, what was the other one I went to? I don't know. The Limelight was the main one I went to. But I think that, that was after Michael went to prison. So when Michael was released, I started my YouTube channel. He had his PewDiePie or PewDie something, PewDiePew or PewDiePew, whatever it's called, his channel. So I got in touch with him, and we talked for a while. And we were talking about fourth, and we were going to do a collaboration. And I was excited. So I was I we were had it set. So if you look at my videos from uh, August of 2019, the New York videos, I went to New York specifically to film with him. And then he was he stopped answering my emails and calls and texts. It was crazy. So I was excited because I was just started YouTube, and I was like, "This is going to be awesome." And I wanted to talk to him about everything. And then he, of course, he died later that year. I believe it was that year in the at Christmas time. So never got to see, never got to see uh, Michael, and never got talked to him because I wasn't going to do a just a puff piece because he murdered somebody. But I was really fascinated by his story. It, it, I would. Do I ever read the comments? I read every comment, Jack. It, on the road, it's been getting tough. I did go to CBGB's. I have a picture of me in the bathroom. Brad, you might like that since you've seen the like bathroom photographs. No, it wasn't PewDiePie. It was uh, Michael Alley, whatever his channel was called. It's a, it's being funny. It's okay, Ryan. Adam always bugs me about the uh, the Canadians. The Pew, yeah, I think it was called the Pew. You're right. I'm thinking PewDiePie because show us the house. I'm only going to no, I can't, I can't show you the house. You got to wait to watch my video coming, and plus you can see it on the old video, but. I'm well, before I get off here, I'm gonna show you. Uh what was I? Oh no, I can't show that. I can't show that because that's a bat. We're gonna get to that. Don't worry. I like you, Corey. Thank you, Corey. That's right. F you to the Habs. Thank you, Angie. Good to have you on here. This is not the Aberdeen. This is not where the garage was. This is not where Kurt uh died. My Dave Grohl video was not my best. I liked it. Okay, I'll pan around real fast. It's getting dark in here. Oh, there's lights. The light switch is right by your head there. The light switch is right here, and I'm, I, you know. It's behind you. I you know. Can't see it. Well, I see it now, but it's like you're the assistant, and I'm the guy that's you on, and I'm supposed to be getting. No, no, you do. You keep looking up Doink the Clown. I think. We oh, should. there you go. <laughs> There was even, I don't know, there was even another mystery doink here. In her There's house. another doink? I'm kind of doing some research. <laughs> He's doing a deep doink dive, guys. I'm deep doink diving. Thank you, Jude. Uh, when are Adam and I moving in together? I don't know. It's uh, Oh, Adam's on the East Coast, so it's too late to text him and ask him. Uh, Ernie's watching right now. Good to see you, Ernie. I'm glad you're watching. Am I familiar with Nelson Sullivan? No, I don't know him. No. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, who said uh, Denisha? Yeah, I'm gonna. I, I, to the guy who said he didn't like my video today, I'm sure he didn't like it, but probably you're not gonna like a lot that's coming then, because it's gonna be a lot of deep dive Nirvana stuff plus me being stupid. Because uh, that video took me ten minutes to film and about twenty minutes to edit and. At the rate I'm going, I have to do that sort of thing. Thank you, Alberta. Are we referring to Nelson Sullivan, the American video? <laughs> Are you referring?
referring to Nelson Sullivan, the American videographer? Guys, I think Johnny Nirvana here has got something to say. Uh, it chronicled uh, downtown Manhattan's art and oh, club scene. In the 80s. In the 80s, correct. What's his name? I'm going to write this down because that's my, that's my jam. I love shit like that. Uh, Nelson Sullivan. Nelson He's Sullivan. actually John Nelson Sullivan, but he goes much like Johnny Nirvana by his middle name. <laughs> Nelson Sullivan. Thank you for telling me that. Uh, they're actually crediting Nelson Sullivan because uh, he turned the camera to face himself, and there's a lot of uh, speculation he kind of invented the selfie. Really? Or was at least yeah, because in documentaries you never that was that was right. taboo to put yourself on camera as a documentarian. He was so he was the, one of the first. Saying he was uh, one of the first to actually turn the camera on himself. Uh, am I still talking with American Spy Fox? You mean Charles from American Spy Fox? Yes. He's meeting up with Tom Grant again for the purpose of what? I love Charles, but <laughs> I think he had a bad experience with Tom last time. There's nothing really to know, but, you know, thank you. Yeah, you'll see my, um, you'll see my Kurt videos too. My doggy, I don't, I, he's good. I try call, I'm going to call my friend tonight actually to find out, but I'm going to see Sh Shady in 48 hours. Hello, April. What's going on? April in Paris. Halloween house. Thank you. Yeah, see, the Halloween house took five, 10 minutes to film. A little bit longer to edit because I put in a lot of stuff. But London, it'll be a long time before I'm in London, guys. Andrew Wood of Mother Love Bone. Maybe. Oh, that'd be awesome, D. I would love that. Uh, if you, if she's saying she would take us to Muckle Shoot Casino, you ever heard of that? It's in Auburn. <laughs> you know, you don't have to Google it. <laughs> no, she's a lady here said that she's from here. She would like to take us. Yeah, we're we got an early morning, so we're going. To, we have a lot to finish tomorrow and start. I am at Kirk's house. Yeah, thank you, Marissa. I will not be at Midsummer Scream. Uh, uh, I'd go back if I, I mean only if I had money, but also with Sean Clark. Thank you, Gina. Um, I would go back if if uh, with Sean Clark because I love him. Spooky vibes? No. Uh, you've been here before, Johnny. Staying here, it's not at all right. It's a very relaxed, but there's a real Kurt vibe to this area and to this house. What did you say? We were talking about um, it on the phone last week. Th th this isn't, isn't so much the, the darker period of Kurt's life. This is the most creative period yeah. of Kurt's life. There we go. This, this is where supposedly he wrote um, like 80% of Never his mind. total yeah. output. Oh, his total output, his too. His total output of his life was written here. So as, as, as Johnny was just saying, this is where we, we were talking about that on the phone. Are we talking about that today with... Uh, the person who owns a house is this is um, I don't care to really feature much about Kurt's ending anymore. I've done the video about the last day week of his life. You know, I went to his house the other day, but I was more interested in seeing the bench and seeing what people left behind. And I like going to places where Kurt lived and where he thrived and where he created. And this is where he created, as Johnny just said, 80% of his out output. So no creepy vibes. Uh, what? On the, I told I said before that when um, the temperature is about a hundred degrees, got to be. When I went to three years ago, when I did my Seattle to Olympia to Aberdeen, I then drove down to um, San Francisco, then Los Angeles. But I couldn't shake Kurt for a week, or two. I all I all I'd, every, I would go to sleep thinking about Kurt Cobain and Nirvana and everything I spears. I'd wake up first thing on my mind, and I'm not as you guys know, I'm not a very spiritual person. I don't think like that, but. I couldn't get him out of my head. And the in the feeling of being in all the places, it's it's crazy when you think about one of your idols, but one of the most famous musicians of all time was living right here. I think we're living here. So that was awesome. And uh listening to music over and over again. So I started doing that again this week. I've been listening to nothing but Nirvana and Smashing Pumpkins. Uh Jamie, I will tell you that yes. He does sound like Kurt Cobain, and he kind of looks like Kurt Cobain. 
and you're going to see him in the video because he has maybe one or two stories about Kurt Cobain. This is the Airbnb. Yeah, uh, his uncle Gary, we may see him. You may see Gary again on my channel. I don't know. If I ever saw you in public, would I take a picture with you? Of course. As long as I have DNA behind me holding my head up so I like, like I look like this. So, because I need, I need extensive work done and I need somebody to always be. So, when I take selfies, I look like this. Or if you catch me like 11 o'clock in the morning, I call it the golden hour, 11 to 12. That's when I look my best. Then, slowly throughout the day, my face starts to fall and melt. I'm not telling you if I went to Carnation. NYC Club Kid stuff. Maureen, I would like to, but I got to get back to you. I know that's Vienna. Uh, am I a Beatles fan? Yep. Uh, it's very, it's pretty expensive here for the month. It's not, it's not easy. It's not cheap. The abandoned house. I have an update video coming to that Xmas baby that I filmed that a couple of months ago in LA. I can't help it, Frank. Francis Bean is writing music. Uh, we saw something today. Oh, no, we didn't see something owned by Francis, did we? We saw something owned by Kurt's mom. The baby thing? Yeah. Yeah, I, we saw something. We went. I don't. I can't show you any of it because you're going to see it in the video. So uh, we saw some stuff owned by Kurt and owned by Kurt's mom. Really crazy. Oklahoma, I hope so. Jars of Clay, what was their big song? I remember Jars of Clay. <laughs> I don't even got, I, I don't even got the sentence out. Jars of Clay, biggest song. <laughs> Flood? <coughs> Flood? I know, if I slept like a normal person, you're right, Denisha. It's tough, but thank you, Michael. I appreciate that. This house, this house is <clears throat> one, uh, it's Pear Street in... I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna. Show, I gotta get going soon, guys, because we have a big day. I've got a. I've got. A, I'm. Hi, Lisa. How are you, my sweetheart? I'm. I'm doing. One. Two, three, three new videos tomorrow. And finishing. Two others. Yeah. So that's five with multiple locations. I ate. I had a Reuben sandwich. Flood, jars are clear. Yeah, flood. Josh, weren't I just in Toronto? Oh, I guess I can tell you now. I think I said, I, I, I did say I wasn't traveling anymore. If you guys are on my Instagram, uh, I did a project for, I guess I'm allowed to say it. I, I don't know if I'm breaking con. No, I already posted it, so. I can't tell you what the project is, but I did a project for Discovery Channel last week. So Discovery Channel flew me to Vancouver from Monday to Wednesday to film. So I hosted something for them that you'll see on regular TV on Discovery ID and I think Netflix in December. And so that's why I'm... So then I said, well, if I'm going to come all the way out here to the West Coast again, I may as well take an extra four or five days to finish what I started in... Uh, Seattle three years ago because I was not done. Thank you, Frank. I appreciate that. Thanks, Josh. Yeah, it was very cool. It was very, thank you. Jackson. So I uh, I learned a lot by filming with, uh, it was a professional crew, obviously. I'm a professional too, but I mean, this is hardcore. It's Discovery Channel. They, I learned a lot from them and uh, it was just awesome. It's weird being directed. Thank you, Marnie. Marnie? It's weird being directed because I have five years of filming my own videos and just me making every decision. I was I didn't have any say in any of the decisions on the set. <laughs> you know, so I was just told, okay, but it was my story to tell, so they were interested in. The place is almost the same. I'm going to show you a little quick bit now. So Vancouver videos, I have... Um, I did the Elisa Lamb. I did the Discovery Channel, which is a big one. That, but that'll be on Discovery. I was going to do a behind the scenes thing, but when I arrived to for filming that day, literally we like we talked for a little bit. 
I was going to film everything. I was changing clothes and I was being filmed and I was talking and we were driving all over doing the video we we're doing. So I, I didn't have time. I was going to do this whole behind the scenes thing. So, um, uh, rock or souvenir from the house heat stroke. I can't, we don't, there's not really much to take from here. And it, it's, I mean, maybe it's the rock. Thank you about the Randy Rhodes. Thank you everyone for congratulating me. Yeah, it's really cool. So I, good night. Peace out. Clear ski. So, um, the best thing about it was I learned. I learned how I learned a lot of different things about yes, Jerry. Where they wrote um, Kurt smells like Teen Spirit is the apartment out back because Kurt lived in two apartments. This was one of them, and I heard Kurt Spielberg made his first music video. And the woo wouldn't say that about the Maple Leafs unless he's trying to bug me. Hi, Sydney. Okay, we're gonna go. I'm gonna show you guys one last thing since you're all asking about it. My, everything my it's all stuck together what's happening it won't come out that's what she said hey oh that's what she said i can't I can't stop her yep okay so look at this photograph of kurt can you guys see it that's kurt okay now that's where he was standing Right there. He's leaning it up against that sink, which is the same sink. And these are the same handles. I'm not high. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? So Kurt's kind of standing right about right where I am in that famous photo. And then there's this photo with Kurt and Courtney and Francis Bean. And I was taking in Gary, Cor uh, Gary Cobain's trailer, which was owned by Leland, Kurt's grandfather. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Little Nirvana bleach. If you're a big, if you're, now I went, to, I did some deep dives. If you lick the handles, Josh, it's not like I don't want to. I got some stuff coming about the album Bleach. I did a deep dive. So I'm going to show you one thing quickly that I'm not supposed to really show anybody. But since you all are very nice, I'm going to show you something quick. Is it, how's the Wi-Fi out here? Okay, this is rare. This is... Nobody knows about this. But... Yeah, I did some deep cuts. So Kurt's other apartment... The Wi-Fi is still strong. Oh, okay. Kurt's apartment where they wrote Smells Like Spirit, where she, uh, his girlfriend Toby, no, it was Kathleen, Dave's girlfriend at the time, wrote Kurt Smells Like Teen Spirit right through that door right there. That's where Kurt and Dave lived. I'm a big fan of Courtney, Mark, but we can disagree. But anyways, right there is where he wrote a lot of Nevermind in that apartment. And my buddy Scott lives there. I know him. He's gone for the day, unfortunately. You see a Sub Pop. That's Nirvana's first label. I did do this location at Sky High, and I'll probably do it. I'm doing it again in a regular video. I'll probably come back here in a few years and do another one. Because I never get tired of it. How could you? There's three musicians that mean the world to me. And that's Eminem, uh, George Michael, and Kurt Cobain. I will never get tired of doing stuff about. So I'm just trying to, yeah. So that famous photo of him was taken about here because there's two buildings in the background that you can see that dome building and that long building. This is where he stood, that famous photograph. That's like one of the most famous photographs of Kurt Cobain ever, it was right here. Hmm. Sing some George. I can't sing like George Michael. I can't sing like anybody. But uh, yeah, this is it. Sun's going down in Olympia. This that's the building he would shoot at. You can't get tired. I, yeah, you can't. I do like uh, MJ too, and I like uh, who else? I mean, Dr. Dre's lots of musicians I love. Love Lane Staley. Love 
you name it. I love Eddie Vedder. I love um, Jack Antonoff from the bleachers. No, he never lived here with Courtney. He lived in this apartment with Tracy Miranda. I did a Beyonce video. <laughs> Denise, I did. I did a Beyonce video in uh I did, I've done two on Shannon Hoon. I have a lot of opinions on music because I, I, I think if anybody likes anything, let them like them. You know, like if somebody's favorite artist is Ricky Martin, hey, they're getting something out of Ricky Martin that maybe a lot of us aren't. We just think it was a pop, whatever. But some people, that's, or, you know, and you can't, music is subjective. Art is subjective. And that's what art should be. You shouldn't have to uh, worry about if your favorite artist is Donny Osmond. You know, it's not lame not cheesy it's who you love and it's what means something to you it may not mean the same as somebody else i had when i worked in a record store celine dion was huge and the titanic song came out and we were all like i was a music star for about six weeks until i realized and i was young i was like 16 17 i was like no i was older than that but i was just like everybody loves this song why and then i listened to it, i was like yeah, that's a pretty good song and then we heard it a million times i was like yeah it's a pretty cool song and it's a great song and if somebody loves Celine Dion, maybe she's not as cool as Kurt Cobain or Lane Staley or somebody, little peep. But if it's, ah, there, that's what I'm trying to say, Dara. If it speaks to you, that's great. ABBA, ABBA's really cool though. Corn, there you go, Joni B. Corn is, uh, yeah, my friend met the lead singer, Jonathan from Corn too. If somebody loves Corn, chill, like you might be like, Corn, well, they kind of peaked. And whatever, but this still had a big impact. Same with Limp Biscuit, stained, right? So I love Neil Young. Well, Neil Young's yeah, Pink Floyd, Nirvana. Celine Dion has something in common with Hole. Anyone know what it is? This sounds like a bad joke, but okay. Yes, yeah, so you interpret what it means to you. Scott Creed, there you go. Scott said people love Creed. People shit on Creed and Nickelback, but if somebody likes those bands, how can you tell them they're wrong for liking them? Or how we like say, oh, you have shit tasted music. You don't know where you where they were when that song came out and it means something. What do they have in common? I like Lil Peep too, Gregory. Joy Division Love. Okay, good night, Brad's brain. I will check out those televisions. Wait, what did what a corn and what do not what a Sticks, that's cool. What what do they have in common, guys? Celine Dion and Hole. R.E.M. is one of my favorite bands. Chris Cornell, I haven't done a deep dive into his uh, stomping us. I went to two bars to film yesterday, and Soundgarden played there a lot. My girl, my girl, don't lie to me. Tell me where did you sleep? Last night, of course, that's a Lead Belly song. He wrote uh, Penny Royalty in the backyard from In Utero. No, Penny Royalty's on Nevermind. Sorry, well, he wrote all about it. I know that he specifically wrote that song outside. Lead Belly does have a grave, Jerry. Stay tuned for that. Blind Melon is awesome. But it's hard to sing like um, like Shannon. All I can sing in the pines, in the pines where the sun never shines. That ending of that song when he says, I'll shiver. And he holds that note. Is that in the woo cool? Cool is the other side of your pillow. Nicest guy. Very humble down to earth. Tall as a mother. And a great guy. Thank you, Vicky. Motley Crue's great. Home sweet home. So that's Kurt's house behind me. I'm afraid I'm gonna drop the kit, drop the lot of that thing. Nine inch nails, saw them live twice, two or three times, three times. And I mean downward spiral when you're a kid. That album, that album still sounds fresh. We were talking, uh Johnny and I were talking about um music today we're thinking how certain bands they still sound as fresh today as ever and nirvana is one of them thank you everyone for watching what about genesis 
It's no fun. The I know pop Genesis. I don't know a lot of early Genesis, Rachel, like um the 70s Genesis, like the more prog rock Genesis. I know like I have got a lot of their stuff on my iPod, but you know, what was a turn it on that song, Illegal Alien, and uh it's a land of confusion. Garbage is great. I love Billy. I love Tupac. Whoa, I almost fell. All right, guys, we are getting out of here. Well, I'm not getting out of here, but I'm getting off the live chat because we got to plan for our day. Who's this? A phone notification. Oh, Leone, missed call. Johnny Nirvana. An invisible touch. Yeah. Ah, oh, there's a Jazzy Genesis yes. song. Invisible She's touch. in the heart. An invisible, invisible touch. touch. Yeah. The taste control. I'm going to go. Da da da. <laughs> it's no fun being an illegal alien. Is that song okay? No. No. It's just not. Yeah, I don't think we can sing that song anymore. No. Stu, where did Phil Collins write most of his music? I think now it would just be it's fun being an alien. Yeah, I'd just say more, that. Yeah. Do you know where Phil Collins wrote most of his music? No. You can't find it. I can't Google that shit. You no, know? because he wrote most of it in the Stu Stu Studio. <laughs> Come on, oh! hey oh, hey oh, man, there it is. Stu <laughs> Stu Studio. Oh, uh, ah, uh, it's uh, the da da da. What the hell is he talking about in any of his songs? I don't even understand. Do 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 do. I can Great feel drum it. fill. Great drum fill. Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen to the... Listen, okay. Uh, Phil John, Collins, okay. The, I, I, didn't he do the Lion King soundtrack? I think he did. Phil Collins do something No, he, he, he No, Elton John did Lion King. Phil Collins did the Tarzan one, I think. Oh, fuck. I gotta... We gotta know. I think Phil Collins did the Tarzan one. But, I mean, everybody knows the drum fill from In the Air Tonight. Have you seen the live version of it where he's just walking along, singing? Then he sits behind the drums and there's a pause. Right. Tarzan. Tarzan. Yeah, yeah. You'll Be In My Heart. Yeah. Uh, how's that song? I have his great hits. You'll Be In My Heart. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. The voice of an angel. Oh, thank you. I'm going to put you on. Uh, I'm going to make a YouTube famous, kid. Thank you. Let's do it. <laughs> you got time, kid. Johnny Nirvana, baby. Johnny Nirvana. I've had these glasses since I think I wore them back in the day when I came here. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video coming Thursday. I'm telling you, it is not just not to put too fine a point in, but it is fucking crazy, right? It is what we what we got to see today. It, literally, uh, they told us we were the first two people. In uh, over uh, maybe 25 years to see it, right? Other than the owners, other, other than, than them, the, other yep. than the owners and the original owners, right? We're the first. That's right. That's we're the first thinking. two to see it today. My mind is still blown. Yeah, we saw something, and you guys are going to get to see it. So if you subscribe, oh, can we get a fuck you, Brad? Oh, of course, fuck you, Brad. We love you, Brad. But seriously, go fuck yourself. Fuck you, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I pay him for. Four dollars an hour. Thanks to everyone for donating on if you did. I appreciate it so much. Brad, we'll talk to you soon. Guys gotta wait to see what we film. It's a big deal to me. It's a big deal to Johnny Nirvana. And it's a big deal to Libby. It's a big deal to Nirvana. All right. That's it. 92.5. Kiss FM. We are signing out. We've got PewDiePie G Fuel. We got a wig. We've got poppers. We're gonna do it all night long. Alrighty then. All night long. All night. All night. All night long. All night. And remember, guys, I only want to see you laughing. In, In the, the Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. You got a voice on you can you can sing it. Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. <laughs> I never want to be your kick over. You mean to be your grungy lover? <laughs> Good night from Aberdeen. What? You're in Aberdeen? Oh man. Hey Luna, can Luna, are you seriously in Aberdeen? Can you write to me on Instagram like now and I'll return your 
can you write to, Luna? If you're, from, I need to talk to somebody who lives in Aberdeen. Stat. Luna, give me a give me a something on Scott on tape Instagram or Scott on tape Facebook, and we get a hold of each other. Can you do that, Luna? Luna. 80s life was wearing a t-shirt with me on it. I love uh, Kurt from 80s life. I'm not from here, but I'm here. Oh, you're not from there, so you don't know who I'm looking for. Hey, hey, hey. Your yeah. video live from Kurt Cobain's house just came up in my suggestions. What's going on? Uh, it's because I'm everywhere. What's going I'm on? everywhere. Scott on tape. That's what soon to be Scott on Skid Row. <laughs> if I keep traveling. Ooh, what's that? All right. Well, good night, everyone. Love you all. And we'll see you on the next video. It will be on Thursday. Something awesome. Good night, everyone. Thank you for watching. Joy and Nirvana, say good night. Good night, all. We are done for the night. American Idiot's a great album. Good night. Hey, anyway, I just heard myself in the background. That's creepy. Good night. <laughs>